this. I should have done this before I had him in my hand. All right, this is Mr. Mangrove. It's been a while. He's got me pretty wrapped tight here. I don't like that. Okay. But I haven't done a video with him since he's really uh, became difficult to deal with. Um, I'm going to see if I can move this phone a little bit better here without him getting me all tangled up here. Here we go. Mr. Mister, as you can see, he's behaving himself. He's not being an asshole, but at least not a total one, but he's certainly not settling down like he used to. Um, a little nervous about letting him get close to my skin for obvious reasons. Um, he's a little inflated which is an indicator with these guys, seemingly that uh, they're on edge. Um, again, these are my first mangroves that I've ever owned. So learning their dispositions and or behaviors, there is a, uh, a learning curve. But so far, so good. You can hear him talking. He's not happy. He's a little bent out of shape. But no chewing. <laughs> no face strikes. I was able to pick him up out of the cage without any issue. Um, he's behaving himself pretty, pretty well. Um, I cleaned his cage out. Cleaned his water. And... Uh, just trying to socialize with him a little bit. Try to move this down here a little bit. There. It's easier to have him down here than up towards my face. Um, I love this thing, man. He used to be one of my chillest, or the chillest mangrove that I had, but I really do believe that a lot of the behavior that he demonstrated the other day was because I had the female in my hand prior to, I picked up some of her poop in the cage, plus I changed his cage, he had all kinds of new substrate, a completely different substrate, he's looking at my face, I don't like that, um, and I think that that was the biggest part of him reacting the way that he did. Now you can see this is defensive. He is, uh, he's gearing himself up. I'm still learning about them. Um, he was showing a little bit of signs of uh, defensiveness there. And um, I have to watch him all the time now because of what he tried to do to me the other week. That was not fun. That hurt. And it could have been so much worse. If he'd chewed my cheek, it would have sucked. It's been a long time since I've had my face chewed. I think a black, no, a black rat was the last one to be able to do it. And he kind of caught me off guard too. Um, I seen it coming and I just didn't, um, I didn't listen to it, you know? So he smacked me in my face, and he smacked me good. Um, my face bled, like I got hit in the face with a strawberry. Um, it was kind of funny. But my wife and our friend would tell you the alligator lizard hanging onto my nose was the funniest. Yeah, one of those hold my beer moments. <laughs> be honest with you, that alligator lizard hurt, man. My eyes teared up and everything. They have a very, very strong grip. I don't like him wrapping around my fingers. Now, now. Are you going to be a good boy? 
Huh? Think you're gonna be a good boy? Huh? You see the people on Facebook now? You're a good boy? Huh? No rapping daddy. No rapping daddy up. No, no rapping daddy up. I'm a good boy. Huh? As you can see, they're getting quite large. Um, and he's being a good boy. He's being a good boy. He's being a good boy. Mr. Mister, I'm going to put you back, buddy. You've been a good boy. You've been a good boy. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Be right back. See, no cage defensiveness. Um, he's been behaving. And Missy, she's hiding in her court log. <laughs>